things I want to show you is a, is a couple of the major changes in the 2024 uh, Ski-Doo MXZ. Uh, not only, as John Luke mentioned earlier, is the Renegade uh, name is off of the MXZ line. It is MXZ 129 or 137. Uh, if you want to, the Renegade name goes with the four strokes only. The other thing that, uh, that they've changed, which I think is a great improvement, I can't wait to try it out, is the, uh, the adjustable brake lever, which you see here. Um, so it's a two finger system, just like that. And if you want to pull it closer to your handlebar, you can just thread that uh, the little adjuster in and you see it pulls it closer to the bar. As you, as you thread it out, it goes further away. So you can adjust it depending on how big your hands are, also how bulky your gloves are. But this is gonna be a really nice feature on the uh, 2024. Also, what I want to, wanted to look at is they've improved the, uh, the brake caliper. There's now a four piston Brembo brake on the XRS model. Um, you can see here, it's, they've changed this whole cover area if you compare it to a 2024 and, uh, and that's a major improvement. So it'll work really nice uh, with that adjustable brake lever that you won't need much strength to pull that in. Um, you know, I think that's a, that's a nice improvement. Another couple of things that, uh, that we've seen earlier is, is these uh, hand guards. You can see here, they light up different ways. And uh, you know, you've got your You've got your standard light. We can go to amber flashing, or amber meaning there's riders behind you. We can go to green, which uh, indicates that there's no riders behind you. We can go to straight white if you just want to uh, have the original look of the, the hand guards. And then there's a flashing mode too. If you go back on the switch, uh, they will flash both amber if there's an emergency on the trail. Um, the switch is mounted on the dash right here. You can see here there's color mode. So that's what I was pushing to change. And then that, that is what we push to flash them. Um, really neat system on that. Um, I really like that. This one is John Luke's. He's got the E-Link, the magnetic E-Link connector, which is what I ran last year that connects to your helmet. And uh, other than that, I think everything else is pretty much the same. Um, the, uh, one of the other uh, things Corey just pointed out is the forward adjustable riser is not an option on these anymore. They went with a standard riser. So you can buy different lengths of them and they're very affordable to do so. But uh, you'll notice that's one feature that is missing on this snowmobile. Uh, I think a lot of the feedback is that no one used it. They just set it and forget it. Um, so what's the point in paying that extra money for that, that system? But a uh, very good looking sled. That's the, uh, a couple of the things to point out for 2024 on the Gen 5 model. Energy Power Sports Open House is on now until Saturday afternoon and uh, hopefully you can pop in and say hi to the boys and girls here at Energy Power Sports and, and have a good time. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe for more content info.